Hi. Hi. I'm Sherry Hickson. Hi, I'm Tipper Jones. Hi. My father, Larry Jones. Larry. Hi, Larry. It's nice, nice to, to meet, meet you. you. Well, come on back. Hi. Bart and Bob and Jean are back here. Okay. Y'all have a beautiful place here. <laughs> Thank you. Thank you. We like it. That is a beautiful <laughs> Isn't it nice? view as you walk through here. Yeah. It's just a it's Unbelievable. Nice. Fantasy Island. <laughs> yeah, we have a lot of fun out here at night. I'll bet you. Have a lot of fun. Sure do. I know I'm in South Texas, but I think I'm in my... Hey, here they are. Hey, guys. Hi there. Larry Jones. Larry, nice to meet you. Chipper Jones. Chipper. Bob Hickson. Hey, Chipper. Bert Jones. Bert Jones. Hi, right, Larry. Good to see you. Nice to meet you. This is Gene back here. Gene King. Hi, Gene. King. Good to meet you. Nice to meet you, Gene. Gene's our ranch manager here. We're just uh, happy y'all welcome Bob in there. Oh man, it's, thank you for having us. <laughs> it's great. It's it's place place it is. I, I've been here a few days, gang, and I've known Bob a long time, and he doesn't hang around with second class stuff. I'm <laughs> yeah. telling you, it's just as good as it gets. So you got the jump on us. We're looking forward to a great time out here. I hear there's a lot of birds out here. So. <laughs> we'll try to find a few. A lot of birds, a lot of quail, and you'll see a lot of doves. Unfortunately, it won't be. We don't have a chance to shoot doves, but I tell you what, why don't we shoot a little bit? Bob, you have a skeet range right Start here. Start out don't? on the five stand and then uh, get warmed up for <laughs> another hunt. Sounds good. It's right down here. Right. Chipper, you go first. I'm uh, going to stand back here I and watch first. how good you are. Uh -oh. Hey, wait All till right. it gets right on see. top of you. We're going to see if Dad can keep up with the baby. <laughs> oh. oh! Taught him everything he knows. <laughs> well, Bob, we're in South Texas. Outside, about 13 miles from Carrizo Springs, right. uh, probably 15 miles from the Mexican border. That's right. And this is what you would call what kind of country? Well, this is what we call South Texas brush country, and uh, this particular piece we're in is what we would say is more more of a sandy, rolling. Really, people don't associate South Texas with this kind of situation. It looks more like Montana, or uh, it's just a different look at what most people think South Texas has, but we're in the, what they call the Golden Triangle and uh, Big Deer Country, the Sedimic County, and the second best uh, Boone and Crockett uh, County in the U.S., and a lot, of, a lot of big deer, a lot of quail, and a lot of doves down here, Bert. You know, that is true. You, you relate Dimmit County in this area to the finest South Texas deer hunting there is, and it is. But what a lot of people don't realize is that there is spectacular bird hunting here. Right. Yep. Early in the year, you have good white-winged dove hunting, depending on the hatch in Mexico. Uh, and then you have fabulous morning dove morning hunting dove. almost throughout the year. You know, you get the first uh, resident birds, that I would call them, that, that raise right here. And then you get the full migration pattern of, you know, all the states north of here. We go from September the 20th till, you know, up almost November 1st, and then we start back December 22nd and go into January, and there's just a tremendous amount of doves, and that's something I didn't realize till I started hunting that. And then another bonus that a lot of people don't relate to this part of the country is that you have excellent quail hunting in this area. You have uh, primarily Bob White in, in the Sand Hills. And if you get out in the brush and if you want to chase a blue quail, you have a chance there too. Bert, this is what we've done here a little different than some of the other ranches. We've taken a levee disc, Arkansas, created in a natural depression. We've taken water out of our wells, dropped it in at the highest point up there, built a series of weirs or levees, just like a little small rice field up and down this depression. So since we don't have naturally running water all the time because of the shortage of rainfall, we wound up creating wildlife habitat here with the water we have by backing it up, making it sit in one spot longer, and you can just see the difference that we've created. Look at the contrast <laughs> of outside your levee yeah. to inside the levee. Right. It, a, it is amazing that the vegetation it's difference. A, it's, a, it's a difference what? between dry, line far, dry land farming and irrigated farming. You know, it's just in a grass habitat while it's a farming principle carried over into wildlife management.
Walmart Great Outdoors, brought to you by Walmart Sporting Goods. Everything you need at everyday low prices. <clears throat> Go over a little bit how we run the hunt. We let the pointer out, of course. The pointer will point. And this little lab here, Sophie, come here. Come here, girl. I will hold her back when she gets the command bird. If she gets the command bird, she's going to go in and flush the bird. And the pointer will hold until she gets in there and flush the bird. I do allow her to actually flush the birds and some chasing going on because if you cripple a bird, that bird falls 30, 40 yards, she has some way of marking it and she'll be on that bird. You cripple a bird, they're hard to find, they run in holes, it's hard on the dogs to smell them, and I don't really like them digging out of holes because of the rattlesnake. So sure. I do let the dogs run around, the birds, it puts them in the air a little bit uh, quicker and faster. We want to really watch safety. We got, of course, people out here, you're going to be abreast of each other, the birds are going to go in all different directions. And, and many times they'll even fly through you. So you have to just wait, let the bird go by, wheel around, and shoot the bird going away from you. One of the big things we want to really watch is low flying birds because dogs are going to be moving everywhere. We have some crippled birds. They will try to catch those birds. I've seen them even leap in the air and catch them. Be aware of where the dogs are and, of course, you know, each other. So watch your low flying bird. Most of the time, these birds, this time of the morning, may be in the edge of these little mots. This is called mot country. It's a Parizo sands outcropping. And uh, it will not surround the mot or, even, or surround the cubby, but we'll do like a half moon, two slide over to the right of the dog, two slide over. Or you're going to hunt two and two? Yeah, I think we'll hunt a brace of dogs and, and two people. And we'll two just, people. We'll just move in and out. Okay. We'll, we'll alternate moving in until we get a good feel and I get a, you know, Gun safety is always one of the key things, especially around quail hunting, because it's it's a game that's different than all other shooting sports in that they're totally unpredictable. They're going to flush and they're going to go to where they think the safest place is. And so consequently, until we kind of get a feel of each other, we, we'll go up there two at a time. And, and typically the best way to handle that is when you have two, the guy on the left shoots the birds on the left, the guy on the right shoots the birds on the right. So just kind of pick out the left side of the covey, the right side of the covey, and then we'll have fun. But besides that, just be safe, have fun, let's go let's go find a bird. <laughs> <laughs> All right, now move forward. Might have been on those doves. Might have been on the doves, but I think you're about maybe right out. here now. First, right. Go, 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 go. Good shot. Yes. Good shot. Nice shot. Bird out. Bird here, bird there, crooked bird. Yep, yep. My bird, Sophie. My bird. Right there. There he is. You see a strike? Careful now. Right out there, Sophie. Move on up. Careful now. Careful now. Probably a single bird. Single bird. bird. Careful now. Bird. Careful Sophie. now. Careful now. Bird, Sophie. Got more. There you are. Bird. Bird. What was that? I got him down. He went down right here. Careful. I missed the bird twice. <laughs> That. Oh yes, it's not hard. I saw. <laughs> Good shot. Right, bird, yep. No bird. No bird. Be careful. I can see them all sitting right there on the ground when we were walking up. Look in here now. Look in here now. Watching hunters on this side and dogs on that other go. Good shot, bird. Beautiful. Dead bird Beautiful in there, so bird. No bird. Hop. Tell me ready. Maybe it's okay, maybe lay back. Bird. Sophie will go in there. Sophie, birds in there. Birds in there, Sophie. There you go. Lay back. That one's hurting. <laughs> you okay? Yeah. What happened? That dog ran right into my knee. <laughs> Good shot. Shot. 
Yep. <laughs> oh, did you see that? Uh -uh, I yeah, I did. Bird, <laughs> Sophie. Bird out. Oh! Ever ready? Ever ready for? How do you miss that bird? <laughs> <laughs> You know those going away shots. Bird out. Get nice. Bird. Nice shot, Bert. Sophie, bring me the bird, and you can get the uh, here. Yeah. Get bird. Get bird. Up. Uh. Dog ran into. I'm talking about. Full get him. Oh, mighty Go darn. Bird. Good, Go bird. good choice. Good choice. Good Come choice. Back around. Oh, back oh. around. Get him. Dead bird. I think she found him over there, Gene. Yeah. There she is. Careful. Careful. Move up a little bit, Larry. Oh, baby, baby, baby bird! Baby bird! Let him go. No bird! No bird! No bird! No bird! No! Nope. One of those young birds I was telling you about earlier that just won't be ready till about February because of our late rains and we had late hatches. You know, <laughs> that is a great sign, though, because. <laughs> I mean, we're in December. But look, there's the rest of them. Nope, small birds. Nope, 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 nope. No birds. I mean, you, here you are in December, and you have a six weeks. Yeah, six eight weeks, eight week seven old weeks, birds. something like that. That is, I'm not used to that. That's great. That's a way to go. Good discretion, man. Very good. We got a point over here. It may be the same bird. It may not be. Go ahead, Larry. Move on. Move on up. Get where you can. Careful. I tell you, that's awful tight country in there. Move on up, Larry. Ready? I'm on the left right here. Come on in, come straight to the dog's nose. You go around the right, Larry. Come on. All right, hold up. Nice. Hey, nice shot, bird. You want to give the dogs a little water? Let's, let's uh, water the dogs, change dogs, and we'll head out in another All place. Right, kill up. Kill up, girl. No, she no, knows no. what the Come program on. is. Come on. Kill up. Girl. All right. Girl. Well, my gun's unloaded, gang. I'm unloaded. Oh, me. You know, Chipper, my old next door neighbor was Doug DeSensei. And I don't know if you remember or know oh, yeah. Doug. Oh, yeah. But he, third base. Oh, yeah. <laughs> and he, he says that uh, I'm the reason he broke his nose three or four times because the Colts yeah. and the Orioles played on the same field. And I would always give him a hard time. When it rained, I said, I'm going to run off tackle right. all day long. Right. And we're going to be going. Right. <laughs> Gotta go right. Stay yeah. away from the left hey, side. Hey, Doug, please don't do it. Look at this what? nose. I mean, you've seen it. They call me Hulk already. It's Man's, bad enough. The man has a point because, you know, I mean, nowadays most of the the, the dual stadiums are, are mostly AstroTurf, but you still have Pro Player Stadium down in Miami where the Dolphins play, San Diego where the Chargers play. And 
I'll tell you what. Dude, I mean, you're on guard, get, aren't you? The field can get kind of rough, especially down there at the hot corner. It's uh, you know, it's a reaction position anyway. But uh, I've taken many of them off the high chest and, and throat and whatnot, so it's it's not fun. You know, you've moved to the outfield now, so yeah, out the greener pastures. It's it's a little rough out there too. A lot more running. A yeah. lot, lot more of a, a, a jog out to the outfield, but uh, you know it's fun. I get to get to show off show off some of the speed that I flashed before uh, a couple <laughs> knee injuries. <laughs> Walmart Great Outdoors brought to you by Walmart Sporting Goods. Everything you need at everyday low prices. I know, I know the jump for me from like double A, triple A to the big leagues. It, it was a big jump, you know. The the speed of the game picks up so much at the professional level. I mean, is it the same way from say college to to the pro level? It's still relative as yeah. you as you move along, but there's no question. Once you get into pro ball, everybody's fast, right. everybody's strong, and everybody's quick. But I think that the greatest transition for a football player is the, the strategical level of yeah. the game itself. Yeah. I mean, it's it's octaves above what you get in, in college ball. I mean, we used to think we knew what we were doing in college, but when you get to pro ball, I mean, you know, we were there in the beginning of all the what I'd call special situation defenses where, you know, you bring in five and six defensive backs and and I'll never forget the first time I played in Miami and I was calling all my own plays, so it was somewhat different than it is now. Uh, I wish I hadn't had that burden. I loved it. <laughs> but I remember Bill and he and my father were good friends because he coached and they actually coached a little bit together. But I mean, he got it and it was just like a roulette wheel. I mean, he was in one coverage and another coverage and another coverage. And when we came and broke down films, we determined that we saw 17 different fronts mm -hmm. and coverages. Mm -hmm before we saw the same one twice. What do you think, It's Dean? very interesting, but uh, we're, uh, it's getting warmer and we need to burn. Right, well, let's put a dog on the ground. Let's put yeah, a dog on somewhere right. else. Turn out, no bird, young bird. Here you go. Ah, you shot him right out from under me. You're supposed to shoot the ones that way, not the ones over here. <laughs> he was right up to shoot for me. Oh, a good shot. Thank you. Different. Look in here. Different. Should be right Different. down there. There it is. All right. Bring him to your master. There you go. That's a pretty point right there. Pretty point. Oh, I need a little backup. He's pointing right there. You got a point right here. Right behind him. I'm right here. Look in there. Look in there. Me. It's a cripple. He's right there, about four feet in front of us. No birds. That's a beautiful sunset, and I guess that's a good way to end the day, huh? You got that right. It's going to have been a nicer day.